Follow your dreams, follow your heart. You can be whatever you want. Just don't be a lawyer. I hate them, they're awful. That's what my grandma Pauline said to me. See, Pauline grew up with a, a large Italian family, with a strict Italian father. She had five sisters. And because there was no son, because her dad had no son, and she was the most academically talented, her dad decided that she was gonna to go to law school. And while Pauline didn't want to go to law school, she excelled at it, like she excelled at everything. So she graduated from the University of Southern California. She was in the first graduating class that had women. She then went on to Hawaii and worked at the Attorney's General's office and was one of the first women lawyers there. And then when she moved back to California, she was the first practicing woman lawyer in Ontario. But after she retired, she moved to Carson City, Nevada, moved in with me and my family, my three brothers. And at the time I was five years old, my mom asked me, Terry, where are you gonna be in 20 years from now? I looked at my mom, I looked at my grandma, I thought this would make her happy. I said, I'm gonna be in law school. And that's when my grandma decided that for the next 20 years, she was gonna do her best to make sure that me and my three brothers didn't go to law school. So she got me and my older brother a Commodore computer. This was back in the 80s, back when we were the only people in Carson City, Nevada to have a computer. And my brother loved it. He would turn it on and he was able to make it do things that weren't in the manual. But it, I was a little too young for it, so I didn't really catch on. But it, it worked. My brother didn't go to law school. He became a computer programmer. Another thing she did is at church, she decided to volunteer for the newsletter. And she went to me and my brothers and said, I'll pay you $10 if you do an illustration for the newsletter. And I started to draw something and it came out horrible. It wasn't even print worthy, but my younger brother was really good. And so he got one, he drew one, then he drew another. And pretty soon she had to take away this prize or she would have gone bankrupt because he was so good. And it turned out that it stuck. He kept, he went on, he didn't go, he didn't become a lawyer. He didn't go to law school. Instead, he became a tattoo artist. My other brother, she took us to the casino. So in Carson City, gambling's legal, and she would take us, she couldn't take us to actually gamble, but she would take us to the cafe. And you could sit at the cafe, and up on the wall, there was Kino, and you could, you get a sheet, and you could circle the numbers that you wanted. And so you used odds and math to try and figure out which was the right numbers to pick. And I never won, but my younger brother, Nico, won, and, and he loved it. So then he started playing poker with my grandma and he would calculate odds on different cards and then they play blackjack and he learned how to count cards and it stuck. He became a data scientist. But for me, none of these really stuck. I went to college and when I was in college, I secretly took the LSAT, the, the law school test. And then when I graduated college, I secretly applied to law school and I got in. I got into a good school in Chicago. So the summer before law school, I knew that I was gonna to have to tell my grandma. So I went back to Carson City and I went to Pauline, told her, look, you know, you have a lot of great ideas, but just for me, I think law school is the right thing. I think it's the right place for me to go in my career. And she was devastated. She was sad and upset. And just then a wall grew between us. And the next year I went back for the holidays and we talked, but we, we just, it wasn't the same. The next year, my second year of law school, I got a call from my mom that Pauline wasn't doing well. So I got on a plane in Chicago and flew home. I got there just in time. She was in the hospice care. She was in a house just down the street. And I walked in and she looked so frail. I went to talk to her and all we could say was, when she woke up, all we could say was, I, I said, I love you. She said, I love you to me. Later on in, her, in that night, she passed away peacefully. Later that week, she had a celebration of life. And at it, I, wrote, I read one of her favorite poems. When I'm old, I wanna wear clothes that don't match. I want to wear slippers in the rain. I want to pick flowers from other people's gardens. 
and learn to spit. And now I know, I think that in those moments together, we resolved our differences. And I just think of Pauline looking down on me and not looking at the time I'm a lawyer, but looking at the rest of my life and seeing that I'm following my dreams and following my heart, just like she recommended. Thank you.